up some. And we won't have to cry no more. Yep. Okay, it is officially day 11, April 30th. We ain't going to get into the time. Just know my should be in bed right now, sleep. But I told myself, he said, you know what? I'm going to take a nap and I'm going to come out here and do this content. To, to, here I am, right? Consistency, obedience, this is where it's gotten me. But nonetheless, <clears throat> yesterday was day 10 and I was simply thinking, I said, you know what? 10 means completion, completing a cycle. Um, and then 11, you know, is alignment, new beginnings. So... I was like, as I was making that video and I was playing it back, I was like, I ended a cycle. I recognize what I've done wrong um, in that friendship, in that relationship, you know? And when I tell you spirit chewed me up and spit me out yesterday, I was like, ooh, child. I said, I was, I said, God, had since the humor, since I'm his daughter, I have one too. I said, God, you must have been holding that in for a long time, huh? Because I know the way I heard that discernment, the way he was talking to me yesterday, was like, I dare you. This is what you prayed for, and and I can't even give it to you because look at how you're acting. You want to worry about them? Y'all are mirroring each other. Look how both of y'all are acting, childish childish but nonetheless <clears throat> nonetheless that cycle was yesterday today is today and i did watch the war room and it reminded me of what i was actually going through now and i remember um she was talking uh and miss williams was talking you know the older lady in the video um and the main character she was like when she finally got down and talked to her about her marriage, right? She was like, he did this and he did that. She was like, how much time are you going to spend talking about what that man has done wrong? And <clears throat> she was like, um, in a part, she said, write down everything that he has done wrong. And she's like, I can make a book. I can make a list, right? She was keeping a list of a thing that that man has done wrong, didn't Spirit say we don't keep track of wrongdoings? She had a list. She said it was about three pages. <clears throat> three pages. And she said, and out of all those things, do you still love him? And she was like, yeah. I said, shit. I said, I don't care what he has done. <clears throat> I said, yes, I'm hurt. Yes, I'm disappointed. But that's, that's still my homie. You know what I mean? Like, don't mess with the homie. I don't care what we go through. I still love him, you know? And she was like, so pray for him. Um, and gave her <clears throat> chapters in the Bible in which to pray for her husband, um, pray for her marriage, pray for herself, pray for her daughter, and things of that nature because we um, are meant to pray. <clears throat> so back to <clears throat> that um, it reminded me of the season of bacon bread and she stated that, um, there are certain skills and certain things that we need to pray. And she was teaching her how to pray. And just like, there are certain things that we need to bake bread. <clears throat> In this season, I said, told myself, I'm gonna learn how to make a loaf of bread. Something as simple as praying people don't understand that something simple as making bread people don't understand so bread takes certain ingredients right you need your flour you need your um your dry yeast right you need your um salt your sugar some people use the egg some people use the olive oil but it all depends on what specifically that person and how they want their loaf to come out so, I got the ingredients, right? I got the fun fundamentals that I need to make this loaf of bread. I got some new items from the store, and I had old items. Came in. I was like, I can make some loaf of bread. I was like, I can do this. It shouldn't be that hard. Huh, I didn't even get it into the oven the first time. Couldn't even do it. I was frustrated with how 
it looked. I wasn't sure if this is, this is how it, how it's supposed to look after it has risen. I I was just like I can't dumped it out. <clears throat> so then I was like, all right, let me go make sure. Let me start over, restart. Let me make sure I have all the ingredients that I need. So now I'm running a list. I was like, all right, I got the flour, I got the dry yeast, I got the salt, I got the sugar, I got this, right? Lined them up. Now I'm ready. Now I'm ready. No, I wasn't ready. I then got further than what I did last time in making this loaf of bread. And I was like, okay. All right, I'm getting somewhere. I felt comfortable. Something else didn't look how I expected it to look. So I was like, uh, I don't know. But we're just going to try it anyway, right? All right. Put it in the oven. Let it rise a little bit more. And just let it sit there. And then my son was trying to help me. He was like, Mom, let me help you. I was like, God, I can't teach you until I know what I'm doing. So let me work on this. But then me messing up the first time, I was like, you know what? You can help me this time. Let's, you know, you can help me. Let's do this together. <sighs> came out better third time came out better felt more confident and i was like okay all right i can do this this came out better um let it go in the oven let it rise some more and we finally baked them now here comes the patience the baking how long do i bake it following the instructions it's at 375 degrees um 45 minutes. Okay. Did I put on a timer? No. But it said when it sounds hollow, it's done. All right. Cool. My bread wasn't getting no color. So I wasn't sure if it was done or not. I don't know. Never made bread before. Um, never had a healthy relationship before. Never had a business. Do you, do you get where I'm going with this? Okay. So, it's just like now I'm waiting for the finished product. Now I'm just waiting for my harvest to come in. Now I'm just waiting for my loaf of bread to be done. And it comes out. It's not what I expected. The bread is, it looks like it. It sounds like it. But it wasn't fresh. It was hard. It was stale. So, that means I overcooked it a little too much, you know. So, now I'm just like, okay, all right, tomorrow... We will try again, you know, in a, in a couple more days, we'll try again. I have not brought a, brought a loaf of bread yet because I'm dedicated to this mission of me making a successful loaf of bread within this season. Um, And it just goes to show, like, <clears throat> there are foundations in which you need in order to get where you want to go. In order to have a healthy relationship, you need these foundations. And those relationships beforehand were preparing you for your divine union for your for your spouse right um schooling those foundations with helping you prepare for the career that you want your childhood the trials and tribulations you know the obstacles that we go through in life are preparing for you for your future self we have to get the foundation correct so we can build on top of that just like bread making, you you need flour, you need yeast, you need salt, you need sugar, right? You have the foundation set. Now, you put those ingredients in. You, you start to mix them, okay? And with the right ingredients and with the right measurements, then comes <clears throat> you mix and then comes it time to settle so it can rise, right? Give it time. <sighs> then once it has risen, sometimes it's supposed to be double in sides, right? You punch it and you start working at it again. Okay? It doesn't stop. You have to go back at it and work at it again. Then what happens? You get your pan ready, right? And once you got your pan, then you can put <laughs> the bread inside the pan and allow it to bake in the oven, right? So then it's a period of another season of waiting. It's work. It's building on top of that so you can reap your harvest, so you can get this loaf of bread. That's important to me. Those 
those relationships, those friendships that didn't last, that were they, they were teaching you something. They was teaching you the fundamentals of a relationship. Whether that relationship worked out or not, it is teaching you lessons. So when you get that divine relationship, you are aware. You are aware because you have the fundamentals. When it comes to prayer, praying, you have the fundamentals that you need to pray. You know what to pray for, how to pray. And I don't know if many of us know how to pray. I, <clears throat> I'm still working on how to pray. Of course, we show gratitude. You know, I, I pray all the time. Um, I come in my house and I pray. People think praying, you have to sit down all the time, every single time. And pray that way. Yes, God wants your time. Yes, spend time with God. But I talk to him when I'm doing my cardio. That's the best, for me, that's the best time to pray because I'm literally having a conversation with God. You know, I'm praying to God as I'm, I'm doing things because he's right over your shoulder. He's right there with you all the time. <clears throat> I remember, I, I said yesterday um, that the worst thing I can do is stop praying for somebody. I don't care about talking to the person. I cannot see you for a while, but let me stop praying for you. Oh, you want to do me wrong? It's a cool, I'm going a, I'm, I'm to a not pray for you. <laughs> That's the level of petty I am. That may not mean it's something to somebody, but... If you tell me that you ain't going to pray for me, I'll be like, dang, that's crazy. Like, you don't like me that much that you're not going to pray for me? As a woman, saying that to a man, saying that to somebody, but like, I don't care. I ain't praying for him. <sighs> that's how I know God still working on me. I, I, I can get that. But <clears throat> the importance of prayer, we have to continue to pray um, for those who did us wrong, for our loved ones prayer works. You want somebody to change. You don't want somebody to do somebody else wrong because of how they done you. Pray. Pray. I, um, I'm now building the fundamentals of prayer because my prayers are becoming stronger. I'm learning how to pray. I'm learning the importance of prayer. Spirit was able to show me the time and time again, like my prayers are powerful. Um, and learning what to pray for. I'm not going to put it in this video, but we're going to learn what to pray for. Because yes, you want your marriage to work. But where is your marriage failing? Yes, you want your career. But where are you failing in order to get your career to the next level? What are you lacking? What do you need to work on? Is it patience? You know, are you having financial struggles? What are the fundamentals of owning your own business? What do you need? What are the skills? I don't know. Somebody must be coming because my nose is itching. You know, sidebar, sidebar. When they say, when your nose itch, itches, you're going to be expecting an unexpected visitor. And my nose just started itching. <clears throat> don't nobody come knocking on my door because I ain't answer, I don't, I don't like the, I don't like to answer my door for nobody. Um so learning how to pray is important. Talking to God is important. Talking to your ancestors is important. Talking to your spirit team is important. Everybody has one. I have my ancestor altar and of course I talk to my grandparents. Um, so much we're going to unpack in these next 60 days. And I'm thankful that Spirit is just guiding me with messages like every day. It is a blessing. I love it. And here's to me learning how to bake bread in this season because I don't know where this is going to end up. And my analogy on that as time progresses is going to get a lot better. Trust me. 
Um, <clears throat> but again, that's the foundation of it. Thank you, spirit. Full circle moment. <laughs> Full circle moment. Um, because I'm going to get the foundations to make a simple loaf of bread. Because once I get to make a simple loaf of bread, then I can do artisan breads. And I can do sourdough. Then I can make cinnamon raisin bread. Because I have the foundation of making a simple loaf. And the same thing in my prayer life. I have the foundations of a prayer. Then I can really, really dive in deep. Because I want to be, <clears throat> thank you, Spirit. I was like, it's nothing like a woman's prayer. But you ever have a grandmother's prayer? Her prayers, woo, are strong. Because she had the foundation of prayer down packed. The power of prayer, specifically from a woman, it, it's it's something that is um, given to us spiritually. You know, I'm not saying men men can't pray, but it's nothing compared to a woman. There are some things a man can do that I cannot. Do you understand? Um, but yeah. Baking bread. I think that's a beautiful, beautiful title. Which we're going to expand on that. We're going to work on this analogy now. But I'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs>